Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Now, in today's video, I'm be taking a look at a brand new product that SCP Automotive have released over the last weekend. Now, uh, they very kindly allowed me to go along with them to the mini show, I think it was, in Stafford, to help them out with their stand. I met a few people over there that have uh, that have subscribed to the channel and watched the videos. Uh, they came over and said hello, which is really nice. So thank you. But in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at, like I say, a brand new product, not released anywhere that I'm aware of, uh, as uh, as opposed to at uh, SCP Automotive. And they are brand new LCI2 dynamic indicators. So I did a video, I mean, when was it now? It must have been over... I think it was around a year, two years ago, of the new LCI2 indicators that came out on the LCI2 minis. Uh, they were completely redesigned, LED, uh, instant on, instant off. You know, they were great. Uh, I'll still use them on the car today. Still going strong, as you would expect from OEM. But one of the biggest gripes or biggest, not complaints, but things people had to say were the fact that they weren't dynamic. You see all modern cars these days with dynamic indicators, you know, ones that sweep left to right or right to left, and the indicators didn't. So with this new product from SCP Automotive, they're a direct replacement, plug and play, pull the old ones out, put the new ones in, uh, and these ones offer a sweeping indicator like the old style sweeping indicator that they offered. Uh, they do come in clear or smoked. Um, I've got the smoked option. I do want to point out that uh, SCP Automotive uh, very kindly gave me these to do uh, to take a look at to do a video on so i didn't buy these but yeah so very kindly gave me them so i'm going to give you obviously my my opinion um i'm not being told what to say or anything like that so i'm going to quickly get them out of the package the package you'll receive might be slightly different these are ones that you could pick up uh, at the show so you might find they'll come in a box uh or support, you know package slightly different so but yeah, I'm going to flip the camera around and we'll get to showing you what you get. Okay, so do excuse the state of the car. I haven't cleaned it uh, recently. But this is the um, the package that you get. You get your pack of two indicators in there. Um, it shows on the front that they are the F-Series LCI2 dynamic indicators. And these are the smoked variant. So you can also get them in a clear lens as well. So inside the pack, you get your left uh, and your right one. This is the right one. Come very nicely bubble wrapped. And then this is the indicator itself. So it's got a protective film on it. So we're just going to peel this off. I probably wouldn't recommend taking it off until uh, until you've got them installed on the car, just to save on scratches, that sort of thing. So we're going to pull these off. And there we have it. This is the indicator. Uh, same design, same profile as the OEM variant. Uh, however, these are all in gloss black, which I think is actually very nice. Very, very sleek looking. Just for reference, you can't remove the bottom plate on these, uh, but uh, SCP Automotive may be working on uh, other designs or uh, decals that can go over the top. I know that's what they specialise in. So, yeah, so like I say, this is a design, as you can see, smoked lens. I'll pop the macro on. Excuse the reflections, but yeah, as you can see, smoke lens which is very nice um and again fully gloss black so they will be a fingerprint magnet but obviously you know you won't be putting your fingers on it all that much um fitment on the back is exactly the same as the uh, pre-lci and lci2 indicators so if you've got a mini from 2014 to current date these will fit uh, they are a plug and play unit as well, so you can pull off your old ones, plug these in, and you won't need to code them like you had to with the LCI2 ones, which is good. Uh, if you have coded the LCI2 ones in, these ones will still work, uh, so you don't need to uncode what you've done. Um, so yeah, you've got your metal clips on the back, and that's about it. You've got some foam lining as well around the exterior. Uh, that's just to prevent water ingress and you know water going behind, which is which is cool. So I think guys, what we're gonna do, uh, it's a bit windy outside, but we're gonna get the camera mounted up on the tripod. I'm gonna show you how to install these. We're gonna use a different method than what we used last time. Last time we just pulled from the bottom uh, and sort of removed the indicator that way, but we're gonna go in from the bonnet this time, which I think is the, uh, 
the, the correct way. It's the way that Mini advises to do it. So, but yeah, we're going to get the camera mounted up and we'll take a look at them. Okay, so these are the current ones. As you can see, they're not dynamic. Uh, instant on and instant off. Which is very nice. Um, I do like them. I've been a fan of these ever since they launched them. But as you can see, Cupress branding underneath. And you've also got that Greek Cupress grill style underneath uh, as well. So we're going to get the bonnet open and we'll get to installing the new pair. Okay, then, so we're going to go in the top here. You've got the indicator just there. We're going to go in from this panel here. So grab yourself a flat headed screwdriver and just slowly remove each of these. They are plastic, so be careful of the threads. Okay, so now that's removed, you should be able to just pull up and pull out like so. We'll move into Pull the camera off the tripod and you can, as you can see you've got your clips on the back you're going to want to press on the top one as you can see push the indicator out and then that will allow you to pull the indicator out like so pressing on the plug there the plug socket clip and then pull these are the two indicators, as you can see, uh, dimension wise, they are exactly the same. And on the back as well, they are exactly the same as well. So yeah, clips are in the same place. As you can see on the OEM ones, you do get the clips to remove the face plate, not on these ones, but like I say, I'm sure SCP Automotive will be coming up with their own designs and manufacturing of different plates, that sort of thing. So. Yeah, so let's get to installing the the new pair. Okay, so whilst these indicators are off, I'm just gonna give them a bit of a wipe down. Give the area a bit of a wipe. So with installing the new set, it's the same process as taking them out. Get the plug plug it in like so and then you'll want to at the bottom you've got two clips you want to rest them in first bottom in and then the top in as well okay so that's them fully installed I'm just going to turn on the hazard so you can see the dynamic effect of these and there we go look at that so as you can see, these are dynamically sweeping uh, front to back, and they have the smoke lens as well. Just look at them. I think the gloss black actually, it makes it look a bit more stealthy. Yeah, I really, really like these. Look at them. They actually look really, really good. Okay, so we're in the car. If I turn on the right indicator, as you can see, we don't get any of that hyper flashing that you would normally get when transferring from um, halogen or filament based bulbs to LED. So these are plug and play. You don't need bimmer code. Literally take the old ones off, put the new ones on and they fit uh, perfectly. So same with the hazards as well. You don't get that hyper flashing, which is, uh, which is really good. So I'm really impressed. So there we are guys, all finished and installed. Again, super, super happy with the way these have turned out. Okay then guys, I will drop a link in the description uh, as to where you can pick these up. I think they look really cool, definitely. If, if you're after that sort of sleek, sleek gloss black look, uh, they're probably the way to go. If you're after that dynamic uh, indicator feature, Again, probably the way to go. Um, so yeah, grab them while you can. I'll drop a link in the description so where you can get them. Also use discount code BEN10 for 10% off of your own pair. I think they retail 
around the 65 pound mark i could be wrong again link is in the description that means that they're also cheaper than the oem variant um and we included with a discount code you'll get them even cheaper than that so yeah guys thank you all for watching today's video if you like the video click like if you want to see more videos like this in the future, then hit that subscribe button, followed by the notification bell, where you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I shall see you all in the next video.